All right, so the plan today is to button up a few small things on the engine and put it in the truck for good. So mainly I need to go get some vacuum hose and uh, put the hose back that I took off up here and then tighten up a couple things down here because this looks like it's leaking or was leaking. But it may just be because it's underneath where the power steering was and that was definitely leaking because the uh, alternator was covered in the same goo. So clean all that up and tighten everything down. Make sure all these other bolts are tight. And she's going in for the final time, I hope. And there you have it. Um, to make it actually go in right, I had to take this little plate off the engine mount. Um, basically, it's just an extension, but there was no way that the engine would fit with that plate on there. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to figure out a way, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Um, if I notice it shaking around or anything, then I'll figure out a way to put it back in, but for now, I think that's fine. So it's officially in for the last time. My firewall clearance is like perfect. Super happy with it. And now I just gotta do some piping and wiring harness and plumbing and literally everything. Hopefully the drive shaft fits. I'll test that next. But all in all, it's all stock mount, stock engine mount, stock transmission mount. That was pretty easy. So yeah. Pretty stoked on this because it's pretty much a sign that I'm on the downhill slope of this project. And it's been the biggest car project I've ever done, so hopefully it all turns out. So today I'm going to see if the drive shaft fits. It should, but I just want to make sure. And then uh, put some oil in it and put some transmission fluid in it and then start seeing about the wiring harness. Oh, and make a, a system to, to bolt in this bracket that I took off here. Should be good. Okay, so to put the oil in, first I have to put the turbo on and plumb it. So before I can do that, it needs to be clocked so that uh, this part that mates to the exhaust manifold is up. And then this part needs to be facing the front of the truck. And then uh, I'll have to figure out something for this. But yeah. Okay, here's where I'm at. Uh, got the turbo clocked and in. Definitely looks good in there. This is coming out at a convenient location to run it to the intercooler piping that'll go over here. I've got it clocked, like I said, um, and it's real easy on this turbo. All you do is loosen this, and then it allows you to spin it whatever way you need. And this stayed stationary with that. Luckily, this comes out top, which is what I needed, so I'm gonna have to do something special with the exhaust because the flange that came on the DSM wants to run this way. I don't know if I can make that work or not, we'll see. But more importantly is the oil drain that I need before I can actually put oil in the car. That was that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so the oil drain, I just have to get under to show you. Okay, so that's where the oil drain needs to go. And of course it needs to come from the bottom of the turbo up there. And basically the line that came off the DSM and the new line that came with the turbo are the exact same. And because the turbo is flipped 180 degrees on the exhaust manifold, it doesn't want to go right there. It wants to go way over here. So here is what I've done. I've taken the new line and chopped both ends off of it. And I'm gonna go get some oil line that'll fit on this. Make a nice flexible oil return line to the block. Um, should work good as far as for the coolant. It just comes with banjo bolts. I'm just taking on the coolant lines however you need. So that should be fine. And then for the oil feed, it appears to be the same thing. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Pretty stoked though. There was definitely enough clearance for the turbo. As you can see, the wastegate actuator is a little bit close to the alternator there. So what I'm gonna do is just grab this with pliers and bend it out a little bit. Shouldn't be any problems there. And I'll put a rubber cap or something, electrical tape maybe over this so that we don't have any metal contact here. But overall, she's looking pretty good. Today is kind of one of those times where you spend twice as long working on the car as you meant to and 
get about half as much done that you thought you would, but the turbo looks so good in there, I'm not even mad.